Hi folks, I'm Meath with Two Guys in a Ride. Today Rob and I are out here at Chan Aston Autoplex at the Cars and Keys events. And uh, we've hung after just a little bit to talk to our good friend Mike. Mike, don't let your shirt give it away, but no. you've got an awesome vehicle behind you. What is yes. it? Yes. Um, as you know, most of my cars have to deal with crime fighters yes. for our charity, Cars Against Crime. So we decided uh, I should have a... Um, an EM50 urban assault vehicle. Uh, okay? I think I've seen this from, in a movie somewhere. From the movie Stripes. Uh, that's starring right. Bill Murray, Harold Rames. Great film. Get, great film. So, uh, every single time you watch it, it's great. It's funny every <laughs> single time. And that's a fact, Jack. Yeah, there okay. you go. So about uh, two and a half years ago, I started looking for a, for a GMC motorhome. Okay. And I found it out in Michigan. And mechanically and everything was pretty good. The inside... It was sitting outside, so some of the floors were a little rusted, and there were mouse stuff around. Okay. But um, but we were going to gut the inside anyway, so All it really right. didn't make any difference. So we went to Michigan and got it. Uh, drove it back 10 hours in a snowstorm, believe it or well, not. That can't be fun in something like this. Not at all. And uh, and here it is. It's been two years, a little over two, two years, years now, two and a half years. Uh, we took we took everything out of the inside. And by the way, when you when I say we, yeah, I got some great people that do it. I just always put we in there. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. But Well, you're writing the checks, right? So you can say we. I guess I can. can I? Yeah, that's there right. You go. So it, we made it into this and um, it's really, it's really kind of unique. You can see everything. It's been all sanded down. Um, it's the right color. It's, it's been uh, painted. There's uh, outside of the, the difference in the stripes. Yep. There's three coats of clear on here. Um, new air conditioner the thing up on top there is and everything by the way here is hydraulic controlled now okay. remote control so that closes but when it's opened like that there's a compressor that shoots about 30 nerf rockets ah, about 30 it. feet okay and we put a little something on the tip you know just right. in case we want it to Right. make a little pop or whatever. Okay. okay, all right. Everything on the outside is done. One of the nice things about these GMCs, of course, were that the air suspension in the back. Okay. And this is all brand new, so it it, uh, it, it works, it, oh, it works, works just great. Works floats just great. down the road, I bet. It floats down the road, and if you get on an angle, you can adjust either side or whatever. Okay. okay. But now from the movie, if we start from the back. Okay. Remember when they when they oh, took I love it, the tailgate. Yeah. And, oh, and, my gosh. Well, they went into Czechoslovakia to save the platoon, right? Right. So one of the things that the EM-50 did was the back came down so that the troops could get in real quick. You're right. Okay. So... Uh, uh, that had I to be found, an I found there's a great place, and I'm going to give them a plug. It's uh, Excalibur Motor Coaches in uh, Rogers, Minnesota. They are absolutely phenomenal people, and they designed this with the hydraulics, and there's a compressor that goes up and down, all with remote, con well, remote control. Okay. Okay. And we did leave the back seats in here and the bathroom and everything, so... You actually could take it camping. Okay. It's got a water tank and the holding everything. tank and everything that's okay. in there. And it's got an uh, owning generator. And uh, you can see we made the inside in diamond plate. So we tried to make mm -hmm. it look as military as possible. Okay. All right. So when it comes down, the troops could go just walk right in. Right, escape from right the uh, escape from uh, Czechoslovakia, from <laughs> from the. Well, that's what they did. Yes, yeah, I know. They did. I, I'm just giggling because I love yeah. it. Um, this we this is Our all wrapped. Plating? Yeah, because it's like if you look at my shirt. Right. You know that's how it looked. Right. Okay. This is a smoke thrower, and if you look at remember in the movie they had to throw flames. Yeah. Well, that's what this does. They're not real flames. Okay. But it throws smoke out and the colored lights around it. It looks. It looks pretty realistic. It looks pretty realistic, and you can walk in and you won't get burned. It's very that's, safe. That's a, that's a good very thing. Very safe. Inside, we're still working on. Uh, we play the movie in here. We've got some more because we just got it back. We've got some more. Um, technical stuff that'll go here. There. Quite honestly, most of it'll be for show. Right. Okay. Um, and then we made some bombs. We got a lot of artillery. Um, yeah, because I mean they had uh, all sorts of weapons. Oh yeah, we got this. we got our machine gun down yep. there. Gas masks, hand grenades, 
Oh yeah, so we're all we're all set for uh, for uh, and then I think we got even. Well, it's locked, but I, I think we've got a set of drawers because I, I like think this forty first Armored Bravo Company. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I just little details. Yeah. So and we still got some more details. This was this will be a work in progress okay. still for for a couple more years. So you can load this also is hydraulic. So this can cover up over here. Okay. And then when you want to replace the rockets, you just move it and you put the rockets in this way. Okay. Okay. And then the compressor and everything is, is, is set in up there? and back in here. Okay. Yeah, with all the remote controls. So you can see there's a smoke machine, there's a compressor, there's remote controls, there's an inverter. Everything you could possibly Whoa. need to to go into Czechoslovakia. <laughs> okay. Now, when you go out in front, one of the things that was very cool about it is these front service doors that used to open up this way, right? Yeah. In the movie, they came down. They came down like this. So he made them come so down. So he made them come down like ah. that. And then when they come down, these are the, ro the guns that yeah, came out the front. Yeah, they will come and out. And they, they extend out as well. Okay. So oh God, we've got we got a little bit of paint work and customizing stuff here to do. So when you when it comes down, there'll probably be like a graphic or something that's going to go over here. Okay. But we haven't had a chance to do that yet. But everything else on the hydraulics and all that it all works. It all goes up and down by itself. No, Man. not by itself. Well, but you you put on remote. Yeah, remote remote control. Yeah, yeah. Man. Just like just like Harold Ramis did it inside the vehicle. Okay. Now, if you notice the license plate. If you remember Sergeant Hulka. Hulka, yeah. So Hulka was such a big part of the a part of this movie, and that's why I thought it should be, the place. should be named Hulka. I, I love it, man. What? what uh, it's just so fun to sit in front of it and take a look at something you've only seen in a movie. Exactly. This is the original um, Oldsmobile 454 engine. So it was out of a tornado. Okay. Okay. And uh, engine is original. It's got about 60,000 miles on it. Okay. And the drivetrain is original. And these were front or rear wheel drive? They're front wheel drive. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose you got quite a bit of weight with the motors on top of the axles. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you'd always think of them as being rear wheel drive. I would never no. have guessed no, it was no. front wheel drive. No. They were, back in the day, they were way, way, way ahead of their time. Wow. And I think even today when you drive down the road, you know, they still look pretty dang good. You know and that? so is is the model year an 81? No, the model year is, a, this one is a 77. 77, yeah. okay. I think they made them from like 73 to early 80s. Okay. Because everything on this was made specifically for the GMC motorhome. It okay. wasn't on another truck platform or anything, anything like that. Wow. Yeah. And so, okay, again, mechanically it was fairly sound, so you didn't have to redo the engine or, or anything. No, just no. Small we, things here or there. Small things, uh, yeah. The small things that you would have to do in any vehicle that's 40 some years old. Right. You know, but and for the most sitting part. sitting somewhere out. Yeah, but yeah. for the most part, no, it, it, it runs really great. Right. It just goes down the road, just floats down the road. You have an entire collection, Mike, of mm -hmm. Cars Against Crime. Right. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Cars Against Crime was uh, a foundation that we that I started uh, back in November of last year, and uh, if you're following how you know, this is really a crazy world, and you're following a lot of times with police, first responders, fire, uh, there's so much uh, PTSD and mental right. mental situations that that come about. So we chose two charities. One is called CISM, which is Crisis Intervention Stress Management, and they'll go out and help a family um, in crisis because it's usually not just the person. Right. It's their family, it's the community, it's everybody else that they're involved with. And then the other one, the other one we chose to do is a, is a, uh, uh, a, place, a, a company called, uh, well not a company, but Wills for Heroes. Okay. And since 16 years they've done 16,000 wills for our first responders, crime fighters, um, firefighters, police, correctional officers, families of theirs, okay. Okay, for free. For free. And then both both those organizations, the CISM and Wills for Heroes, do this for free. And so those are the ones that we there chose to. We're going to we're donating and supporting for. Them. And yeah. That's and that's awesome. You know, we we appreciate you doing that. Um, and we'll have a link okay. in our description, so you can click on it and go right to um, Cars Against Crime dot org and right. and dot org. If you make a donation, if you want to, that would be great. You know, so that we'll put it great. on there, and it'll be down 
uh, right below our description. So okay, all right. How much of the of the interior is original? I think the driver's area is pretty original, except for the metal work. Uh, yeah, all the the seats have been recovered. So okay. all the everything, all the vinyls, all been, the redone. vinyls been redone. Okay. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah. It's, and we put yeah, except for the metal work. Okay. We put some metal work on there, but it, and made so, this made the seats in the front and in the back. You know, so you could actually sleep back there. Right, because that's been redone. That would have been a bedroom back there. That would have there. been the bed back And there yeah. would have been a bench or a table up here in the middle that's section. That's correct. Which has been taken out so you can put in the the communication center. Right. And the, but it was out of there in the movie, too. I mean, that's that, right. that was, that's this right. is, <laughs> that's it's right. like walking into the movie, Mike. I mean, it, that's just. It, it is to some degree. I tell yeah. you what, yeah. it's awesome. And I know you've got some more work done that you're going to do on it. But isn't that part of the fun of having, having a vehicle when you bite and you're working on it? Oh, my. Gosh. It's never really done. It's never done. Because no, <laughs> you always come up with new things that you can do. Well, right. Yeah. But and I we've mean, already planned for next winter a few other things that we're going to do. Other so when it's on in is show mode, it'll be look like it's really armored. What got you started into collecting uh, crime? You know, cars against um, crime. Well, I've always been a car collector, but it's usually been muscle cars from from my era. Okay. And. Um, a friend of mine uh, who you've talked to, Mr. Steve Olson. The one that has the cheaper gas station. The one that has the cheaper gas yeah, station. Okay. But little water <laughs> on the gas. you got to be careful. Oh. Yeah. But, but, yeah, he's also the one that runs the Chanhassen International Airport. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he has three or four flights a day, but you can only take one passenger at a time. So families have to take, you know, it's a long time to get from point A to point B. My career was in security, okay. and I always felt that we were crime fighters because we were... We always were working with law enforcement mm -hmm. and and uh, and putting in systems that uh, help people feel safe, uh, protected assets in business, protected fires, you know, for fire okay. alarms and sprinklers and that kind of stuff. And so after talking to, to Olson, uh, he got me a bat phone. Okay. And then I thought, well, he's got the phone, right? Maybe I should get a Batmobile. And that's what started. I went on eBay. <clears throat> I found a Batmobile, and that's what kind of started. Oh it. wow! And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, then it was my my niece wanted thought we should make Scooby, so we made Scooby Doo, and the rest of it just kind of just kind of fell over, into place over the years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What 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 yeah. a neat story. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Mike. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Uh, uh, you know, with, with this, your story uh, of coming to cars. One last question. Yeah. If you could make any recommendation you wanted to anyone else who's out there collecting cars, mm -hmm. having done it for many, many years, mm -hmm. what's one piece of advice you'd throw out there? Buy the best you can get to begin with. Because okay. it's very expensive to restore. But since we started doing this for charity yeah. and watching the kids come in with these vehicles, it's fun, um, isn't it? That, that's been the best. I got to tell you, that has been the absolute best. Well, Mike, thanks for helping keeping those memories alive. Thanks You're for the organization that you work with. Thank you. Uh, making donations to those groups. We appreciate it. Okay. My pleasure. Thanks for the interview. Thanks for watching.